Michaela Breeze, Britain's first ever female Olympic weightlifter, Athens 2004. Commonwealth gold medal winner for Wales, Melbourne 2006. And here in Beijing, doing very nicely until the weightlifter's nightmare, back trouble. Oh, the pain on her face. She is in real trouble. It was announced that Breeze was injured and out. But instead, on she went. Medal prospects, zero. Driven on by, well, just this. Her spirit and pride which pushes her on. Last one, you gotta get it. And on she went. There's nothing wrong with giving up. It's just that when somebody doesn't, it doesn't half tug on the old heartstrings. Oh, the pain and the drive. It's so hard. Hold it. Michaela Breeze, failing, falling, the facts will say. But if we're not uplifted by this, we're probably really missing what sport and the Olympics can still offer. Hey guys, my name's Michaela Breeze. Um, my background is in the sport of Olympic weightlifting. Um, I've been sent through a load of uh, questions to answer, so I'm going to try and get through all of them if I can. Uh, first question was from Jasmine Parrish. How did you find the right sport for you? Well, quite simply, as a youngster, I had a go at everything. I tried lots of different sports until I found something I really enjoyed and that really challenged me. So what I suggest you do is get out there, try lots of different things. The more you try, you never know, you might find something you really enjoy. Question from uh, Charlotte Potts. Which athletic activity do you like the most and why? Well, I'm not sure what the question's going here. Which athletic activity? Are we talking athletics as a sport in general? If so, the answer's long jump. Amelia Hollingworth asked, what do you eat? Uh, is diet important for you? It absolutely is. Imagine a racing car. You put the very best fuel in that car to make it go as fast as possible. You don't fill it with junk and with rubbish. It's the same with the body. If you eat good stuff, lots of protein, lots of meats, lots of fruit, lots of vegetables, salads, then you're going to perform really well. The junk food just slows you down. But a little bit, every now and again, that's okay. Josh, Josh Etches, he says, what made you become an Olympic athlete? Well, you don't choose to be an Olympic athlete. You train with that as the goal, the ultimate goal, but there's no guarantees. You have to train with it with a big heart, with big passion. Um, and for me, it was lots and lots of commitment. Training six days a week, eight to 12 sessions. I spent most of my life for the best part of 22 years in the gym. So lots of hard work and dedication sometimes provides elite athletes with that opportunity. Olivia Ingram says, how did you feel when you won your first medal at competition? Well, I tell you what, it's a huge buzz, a huge feeling of excitement when you stand on top of that podium with a medal around your neck. For me, that's the small moments that it's all worthwhile, but it takes a lot of hard work and commitment to achieve that one special moment. Jacob Bentley says, what puts more pressure on you when the crowd is cheering you on or when they're quiet? when they're quiet for sure. That's when everything is on you. You're the performer and nothing else matters. It's really challenging to, to stay calm and to stay focused when all eyes are on you. So definitely for me, when the crowd are nice and quiet. Uh, Jake Hickling, what does it take to become an Olympic athlete? Well, as I said, you don't always choose to become an Olympic athlete. Firstly, you have to be the very best in your sport, in your country, and then you have a chance. Um, so really it's a case of finding a sport that is in the Olympics and working really, really hard over a long time, many months, many years, to try and achieve that dream. Uh, Nathan Smith, how nervous were you on your first Olympic Games? How do you overcome those nerves? I don't think you ever overcome those nerves, but the good thing is the nerves make you perform better. Being excited is what it's all about. It's just learning to control it. But how did I feel competing on my, in my first ever Olympic Games? Emotional, I think, is probably the one word I would use to sum it up. And final questions from uh, Bethany Priest Atkinson. What inspired you to become an Olympian? 
Quite simply, it's the biggest sporting stage in the world and I wanted to be there. What is your biggest achievement? I used to say winning gold at the Commonwealth Games in Melbourne 2006 for me was the pinnacle of my career, but I would now say that coming out of retirement at the age of 35, breaking British and Commonwealth Games records, that's probably right up there too. And the final question, what were your hopes? What are my hopes for the future? Um, I guess I want to be successful now, successful in business, and more importantly, happy in retirement. I hope that's helped. I hope you enjoy uh, your assembly or your classroom, whatever you're doing. Good luck to everybody in your achieving your dreams.